we're going to open up here is the electrical system. Mm -hmm. So on my far left is the battery charger system, and that's currently in the off position because there's no lights on. Yeah. The switch for the battery charger is around the corner here. Yeah. Yeah. We then have our 240 volt system, and it's currently set to shore power. We can see though that it's not on because there is no power coming through the, through the system, yeah. through the gauges. We then have our low voltage system. And so what we're simply doing, we're going to keep it on shore power for now because we're not going anywhere. But before we leave, we'll talk to the skipper and they'll tell us when to turn it to, sh to ship power. Yeah. What we then do is we make sure that all the, the low voltage systems are on. And these are the key systems that actually run most of the mm -hmm. electronics. So we keep the inverter here in the off position unless we actually need to turn the inverter on upstairs um, for some of the equipment. But most of the equipment doesn't require the yeah. inverter to be on. I find it easy just to use a sequence to make sure that everything's on, just really a loop. Mm -hmm. And so we just make sure that everything is in fact on. So coming in to open this up, these two are already in the on position. They weren't turned off. They should have been turned off. We turn all of it on. This is the domestic isolator switch. And this makes sure that all of our core systems are actually yep. in the on position. I pulled this out because the best way to show whether that is off or on is if, if the, the key comes out. If the key didn't come out, you know that it's in the on yep. position. So we leave this one off. Yep. So in summary, on, 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 on and on. This is kept off because we don't want to parallel the domestic to starboard bank. Yep. And this is kept off because we don't want to actually activate the inverter. Yeah. What is an inverter? So the inverter is where we're actually going to swap currencies and there are some systems up mm. um, that, uh, like the PA system, that actually requires 240 volts. So it's actually going to turn it around for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if, if you need to turn the batteries on or off, we, how do you do that? If when you go to the, the ship power? That's this button here. So if you're going from ship uh, from shore power to ship power, which means you're using the gen set to create 240 volt, you do it in two steps. You don't go quickly across. You'll go simply to the off position, and then once the gen set is started and actually running for a minute or two, so it's warmed up and generating some capacity, you'll then move it to ship power. Yeah. Again, the opposite is true when you undo it, you take it to the off position first, and then you take it back to shore power. So in summary, battery charger, switch for the battery chargers around the corner, 240 volt system. We're staying here this morning, so we're gonna keep it on shore, shore power. I can tell that there's no currency running through it because of the gauges, but I have turned on all of the relevant switches for my low voltage system. We also do a quick visual inspection, make sure there's no hazards down here, spare bits of paper flying around. We have a look generally that there is no water in the area. And then we decide that we're going to go into the main engine room. Mm -hmm. We've already ventilated, so we know it's pretty good. And uh, to open the hatch, you simply put both handles in the one o'clock position. If you put them anywhere else, the door won't, won't open properly. But one o'clock, one o'clock will do it.